Hey everyone, welcome into the scoreboard. On today's show, we gear up for back to school with a trip to Sun and Ski Sports. We catch up with Battle Mountain volleyball coach Shelby Crummer, and we learn all about what is happening at the Vail Country Club. But before all of that, up first, Maddie Evans takes us to Sun and Ski Sports for a peek at their back to school sale. Back to school is right around the corner, and if you need to do some back to school shopping, well, the place to do it is here at Sun and Ski Sports, especially because they've got some great deals. And I'm standing here with the deal expert, Alex. Thank you for meeting us, Alex. Yeah, great to be back. I'm glad, glad you guys are here. Yeah, we've missed spending some time in here. <laughs> I've missed doing the off-camera shopping that I like to do when I get to run around. And right now you have such great deals that it makes the shopping like four times more enticing. Yeah, especially when you get a chance to come in and you know you need something and it's on deal. I mean, what's better? There's absolutely nothing better. So as we're gearing up for back to school season and parents are starting to think about all of those things that they need to get their kids, you guys have a little bit of everything. Yeah, we try to get you guys all prepared. And of course, we're standing behind, you know, one of the more crucial things, backpacks. What's back, what's back to school without backpacks, you know? So we have a <laughs> giant selection this year, the biggest we've ever had. So it really is encompassing in terms of whatever you could possibly want. And then we have a bunch of sales going on too. Which nobody can miss a good sale, and especially when it's so many things that the kids need as they're making their way back to school, from shirts to shoes to dresses, you've got it all right now, which makes it nice and convenient. Yeah, I mean, anything you're going to need, because of course, this is typically a time when you think about, oh, wait, we need all these clothes for the year coming up. Those kids are growing, so we need a chance to go buy this stuff. This is a perfect time to come in. And again, talking about t-shirts are on sale, shorts are on sale, dresses. We've got footwear. I mean, most of our brands are on sale in footwear. And there's a little bit of everything, even swimwear, because the kids at some point will go swimming this year for sure. Right, and especially now that we're not all the way through summer, so we still have some of that summer season left for the kids to get out there and enjoy things like Nottingham Lake or the river, which if they want to do that really quickly, you guys rent paddle boards, which I didn't know until just now. Yeah, I mean, we're, we were standing right next to one and it just happened to be a topic conversation, but it's a great thing getting people aware of the fact that we do rent all these cool things to get you out and doing some of these activities, whether it's biking, which is the one everybody thinks about, or as we just found out, stand up paddle boards and go explore the lake or the rivers or any of the reservoirs we have around us. So let's talk about some of the great deals on some of the things that you guys have. There's a great deal on t-shirts right now. Yeah, so t-shirts is going to be the big one. you got t-shirts and tank tops or buy one, get one 50% off. So again, talking about one of those items you need, not just one of, you're probably going to be buying a couple or multiple quantities of, there's a killer deal for you. And then the other half of your set, if you're wearing a t-shirt, typically you're going to be wearing a pair of shorts, and those are on sale too. And then for the women's side, we talked about dresses. Of course, if you're you know, not going to be wearing t-shirt and shorts on the women's side, you may be wearing a dress. Right, and the dress season is still here in full force, and it's especially nice on those days where we're seeing these warmer temperatures come out and kind of toast us up a little bit out right now. And so it's nice to have that dress option, and there are some great deals on the dresses. So you guys are just running a deal for everyone. Pretty much anything, you, again, you could need for this type of season. Again, a little bit of summer left, and then the idea of getting you ready for the school season too. And of course, the last set, if you got t-shirt shorts, you're going to need some footwear. So there's always a good deal on footwear as well. Which we love the deal on footwear and you guys are one of the few places here in the valley where you've got such a wide array of footwear. So people from like hiking boots to sandals to slippers, you guys have it all, which makes it nice and convenient because you're that one stop shop for all of your footwear needs. Yeah, absolutely. And it's funny, this footwear section gets bigger and bigger every year. So we go from having, you know, still one of the only places, as you said, could buy footwear to like everything you could possibly need now these days in terms of, as you said, hiking to vans are on sale to Birkenstocks. I mean, the whole whole selection there's something for you and you guys are doing a really fun pack giveaway running weekly which is incredible yeah it's going to be a cool idea again all you got to do is sign up whether it's you in store we'll have a little qr code for you when you come in starting the first of august or just head to the website and it's on there too and all you got to do is enter and you might take care of one of your needs like that for free which that's the best deal possible is you can get your kids geared up so easily and it's really a one-stop shop so if people are in the market to come shopping now is the time to do so while this is still going on absolutely this is your chance to come get some of those great deals and then speaking of the backpacks that are behind us, you guys carry a large array. And so what are some of the top brands for backpacks that you're carrying this year? Uh, so the two big ones we've always had are Patagonia and North Face. Um, we're starting carrying something a little more creative. We have Herschel now with some really colorful designs. Um, and then we carry Osprey and a couple other brands and that more of a, that technical style. 
Which is good for those kids that like to get out there and go explore right after school, maybe the ones who have to take the bus home and walk a little bit or ride their bikes. Those technical bags work so well for them. Yeah, typically having you know, an extra strap to keep that bag nice and in place, whether you're biking or hiking, it really keeps it locked in place and you don't have to worry about anything moving around on you. Alex, if people are interested in coming shopping with you, can they shop online? And then if so, can they get all these great deals online as well? Absolutely, yeah. You got to just go to sunandski.com or come check us out in store as well. And we're right here in Avon. And what are your store hours so people, if people are interested in coming to shop, they know when they can come? If I hope they are interested. <laughs> but it's 9 to 7, Monday through Saturday, and then 9 to 6 on Sundays. Alex, thank you so much for all this great information. So one more time, how long is this sale going to last? And if people want to come in and do that great shopping that we were talking about, because I'm going to go shopping after this, <laughs> then how long do they have until the back to school sale ends? So it's starting right now and then it goes until pretty much the end of August. So you guys have pretty much a couple weeks to really figure out what you need. Come in, check it out. And if you need to come back for a second run, we will still be here for you. Alex, thank you so much again for all this great information. If you're in the market for some back to school needs, well, come to Sun and Ski Sports. From everything from footwear to shorts to shirts to dresses, they've got it all and it's all on a great deal right now. We're going to take a short break and when we come back, we've got more of the show. Welcome back to The Scoreboard. I'm your host, Blake O'Rulian. We are so excited for the start of fall sports. Recently, we had a chance to catch up with Battle Mountain volleyball coach Shelby Crummer and to get her thoughts on the upcoming season. Here's what she had to say. We all know and love our local athletes here, and especially the young ones. Battle Mountain High School has some great competitive sports, and one of them being volleyball. And now we've got the head coach sitting down with us to kind of give us a preview of the season. Shelby Crummer, good morning, Shelby. Good morning. Thank you for coming in and chatting with us. For sure, absolutely, anytime. And you guys had kind of a crazy season last year. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about some of the challenges that you faced in last season. Yeah, I think last season, the year of 2021, just kind of coming through and making sports happen for the young athletes uh, locally post the pandemic or during the midst of it was a real challenge in general. Just keeping them engaged was really important. But over the course of that 2021 year, we had a fall season that was postponed to spring and then a six week break. Then we had another fall season. So I think that was really taxing on the athletes overall. And so just bringing that weight of, you know, what they were in the midst of and going through fell into the challenges for them um, overall, just as far as being kids in this crazy world right now. Which, I mean, I can only imagine, right? right. Like taking so much time off a full year, like mm -hmm. competing in any sports, for 2020 was difficult and right. had its own challenges. And if you were competing in sports, they were like individual sports, like ski racing sure. or something where you weren't in kind of an enclosed space, close mm -hmm. to each other, like really working hard. And so to bring all of the girls who had played for years before back and make them engage again was probably, I'm sure, very difficult. Right, and I mean, they're going through all these changes and shifts in schedules and what they're, how they're gonna compete. And it was more than just you know, postponing a season for them. It was so many other avenues of having to navigate that, which I really respect and admire any kid that's still, you know, trucking and doing things that they love because it took a lot for them to kind of grow in that resilience in that space. And so overall in the season, how did you guys play out with like the competition mm -hmm. as well as just not only like facing these challenges kind of directly, but then facing the challenges of the competition? Yeah, I think Partially, you know, we didn't have, if we're speaking to the record itself, right, we didn't have the record we'd hoped for last season. Um, and that came with a lot of pieces of the growth that we were going through, through, through throughout just the course of changing leadership. And any time there's a change in leadership, there's definitely some challenges that come with, you know, adjusting as a person a part of that leadership and a team a part of that and under that. So um, we had challenges there. We didn't quite get the record we wanted to um, through a lot of those changes. We had phenomenal athletes but couldn't quite um, get out of certain examples of serve receive, right? So if we're talking to the sport ex specifically, um, we got stuck in some serve receive um, issues with other teams 
Eagle Valley had incredible serving last year, and I'm sure they're going to come in hot this, this season with it as well. And so that's going to be a huge focus of ours is just being able to hold our steadiness when we're working through a serve-receive situation. And if we are getting stuck in a rut, that we can maintain a, a healthy mindset and push forward and get back to the skills that we that we know that we have. Um, and some other co competitive teams in the league um, really showed up last year as well through all those incredibly hard times, um, you know, through the pandemic, et cetera, and showed us a, a really good time. So although we didn't have the record we wanted, I think our team and our program grew a whole lot. And so we're excited to kind of see how we show up again this year. And you guys going into this coming season have lost seven seniors, which mm -hmm. is a pretty large number, but right. you still have a big turnout of kids that want to play mm -hmm. and are very into the sport. Right. We absolutely lost an incredible uh, class, right? We had seven seniors. They were phenomenal young women and, and are off doing incredible things now. And we'll definitely miss them and their skills and their, you know, everything that they brought to the program. But at the same time, each year, you're so sad to lose them, but you also look forward to those that are growing up into those roles of whether it's leadership on the team um, you know in in the sense of leading the team in the morale or it's on the court and so I'm really excited to see how these young girls grow up in this next um, season and this next year of school for themselves and how they can show leadership and show up to the game which is always really fun and it's really fun to kind of see kids grow into that athletic role right. and the diversity that comes with it. I have identical twin brothers, they're 11, mm -hmm. and one of them is like, soccer is my life, and the other one's like, I'm gonna shadow hop right. while we play this game because mm -hmm. like I don't care. Sure. But it's brought so much personality out within each kid, mm -hmm. and then it shows that motivation that they have, and so as the coach, you get to be right there, you get to be hands-on, mm -hmm. and you get to see kind of these changes, and especially these athletic changes that these girls right. are going through at this age in their life where changes are just like happening like hot fire. Right, right. And I love that aspect of coaching that I'm with them in there every single day. You know, starting here in July, we're going to have, you know, full, um, you know, we're going to get fully into this preseason aspect and then moving into August, September, October, and a portion of November. I'm with them every single day for at least two to 10 hours depending if we're at a tournament right and so I'm in the thick of it with them but they're also in the thick of life with me and so we get to share in that season which is really special for me to kind of get to see the ins and outs of each time that you know they're going through something in school or with their friends or relationships and family lives and just to be a part of that makes me feel really connected to them the team and just the community overall. Which is something that's so incredible because the difference that you personally get to make in mm -hmm. This group of, I think you said 40 girls? Yeah, or so. <laughs> 40 or so girls. That's a lot yeah. of people to know and a lot of people to spend time with and like be there for them. And that's the coach's role is mm -hmm. not only are you there on the court, but you're also there when they just need a friend. Right. Yeah, I think that that balance is really important for the coaches and a portion of why I'm so particular about my coaching staff. I have a phenomenal coaching staff and I can't brag enough about them and we're hoping to bring on another coach this year as well and in the process of searching for that new um, you know person and coach to fill this space for the girls I do love and know the girls quite well and many of their families and I have that protective spirit over them because it is meaningful and it is impactful for their lives and so who I choose to be in front of them around them and guide that space I think is really particular for me but our, our current staff is incredible we have awesome volunteers too that show a space and can be there for the girls as well in the sport in the game and just in life so I've really enjoyed kind of being able to kind of navigate that with my coaches too and share in that experience which is such an incredible experience so now we're talking preseason mm -hmm. what are the, some of the things that you're really excited for in this upcoming season and then what are the things that you're like kind of a little bit nervous for yeah I think the portions of nervousness come from okay, where were our weaknesses last year? Or in the season, in the games, whether it was small moments in between points where you get that time to recollect yourself, is it that where we need you know, to focus on? Or is it the big overall, like, how do, we, how do we finish a set? Or how do we put a cap on when we're capitalizing on you know, being ahead in a, in a game? And so I think from the small moments to the huge moments of, of that experience, in the sport, we're looking at where were those weaknesses. And I think the nervousness comes from how can we build that? And how can we say, you know, when we're 
when we're losing our marbles a little bit because we're down a few points and we're in a rut in serve receive, how can we recollect, call a timeout, do what we need to do on the court and off the court to get ourselves into a place that we want to be um, in the game? And so how do we turn that story around in our favor? Um, it's a huge portion of what we're focusing on now in preseason. And those nervousness will hopefully wane. Um, and, and one thing we talk about a lot in, in the performance with the girls is to try to perceive, like, I'm not nervous. I'm excited, right? right? It means something to me if I have nervousness together with it. So um, we try to train them in changing that mindset so that they can be in a better place mentally with the game and enjoy it more, right? Um, so also looking forward to a lot of great things. I think just looking forward to being with them again, being in the fall sport um, environment is always exhilarating as we get you know excited for the school season, excited for the school year. And there's a lot of newness that comes with that um, and just a new team. So every right. year it's new in a lot of ways. And looking forward to that newness, we've got incredible athletes also that are showing up. And I'm always excited kind of coming back into preseason because they've been working all off season. And we've had this full off season this year that we didn't have the privilege of having last year. And so they're going to have very different looks on and off the court. And I'm really excited to kind of see what they look like, see how they perform, see how they interact and how they've developed even as younger uh, or growing young women. And so I'm looking forward to a lot of really exciting pieces. It's really exciting to hear it and it's exciting to hear the like passion that you have for it in mm -hmm. your voice as we approach only because this isn't a small role that you take on and like we sure. said you're taking on not only being the coach but being that person that they need and then not only bringing that to the thing but you're teaching them valuable lessons taking that shift from I'm nervous to I'm excited mm -hmm. is something that's going to stick with them for the rest of their lives. Sure, yeah, and no, I'm definitely hopeful that the process overall for them is is a growing experience. Obviously, the sport is so fun, and that's why we come together, and I think that's where you meet kids in a sport, and then you can have that connection in a special way that you can't always in other avenues of their lives. Like, not every kid who comes to school loves school, so sometimes it's harder to connect in different spaces. But, yeah, hopefully they kind of you know, come out of the Battle Mountain Volleyball experience and they can say, I've learned the difference in the value of time and place appropriateness. Or I've learned that when I'm nervous, I'm actually really excited. You know, things like that that we just like focus on and bring up and bring up because it's pertinent now and it'll be pertinent in life later. And so we're, we're hopeful that, you know, they, they go, go with lessons from this program. And with kind of preseason coming, when mm -hmm. is the first tournament or game that you guys actually have? So we're going to look at showing up. Mike Garvey is going to put together some opportunities at Eagle, Va Eagle Valley, and he's going to bring a couple of teams and just have a come play, and let's just see how much uh, round robin we can get together. That's going to be pretty soon. We're only able to take two levels because um, kids are out of town and different things with right. the summer, right? We want to respect that time. Um, so July 9th, I believe, we're going to take a group out there, and we're just kind of getting that communication out now. Uh, just go over to Eagle Valley and just see how people, people have grown and see how the team is going to develop. So that's going to be our first kind of rough uh, rough start. And then we're going to move into having, uh, we've got little Huskies camp later this summer, which we bring grades six to ninth grade incoming kids. Um, we just teach them some of those um, really, really fun skills of the game. And then we're going to move into CSU camp. That's going to be awesome for our girls. That's a big portion of our summer. Uh, and then moving into the season, we've got stuff right off the bat in August. So it's a quick start for them as soon as school gets going. Which is so crazy to think about. It's so crazy to have that like ongoing motion and mm -hmm. right starting in the middle of the summer. You right. guys are kind of boots on the ground running. And mm -hmm. so it's exciting. Yeah. And what you guys do is exciting. And we're excited to see how the season plays out. Yeah, thank you. We're, we're going to be, you know, really ready to get back in there and get, get trained. <laughs> Shelby, thank you so much for taking the time to come chat with us. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Make sure that you follow along with the girls Battle Mountain volleyball team only because they've got incredible athletes and she's an absolutely incredible coach. We're going to take a short break and when we come back we've got more of the show. Welcome back to the scoreboard. Next, Kenny Thayer of Vail Country Club stopped by to give our own Liz Farron a little insight on virtual golf. Welcome back to Good Morning Vail on TV8. I am Liz. I am sitting here with a wonderful guy I just met, Kenny, and he's from the Vail Country Club. 
I'm learning a lot. I am not a golfer because, well, I'm just not really a golfer. But what you guys have going on is something really cool. This is virtual golf. So you don't have to be a great golfer to enjoy this. You don't have to worry about getting rained on or electrified by <laughs> lightning or anything like that. I'm really interested in finding out what's going on with this, Kenny. So this is a virtual golf experience. For those of us who don't know what that is, explain to me. Yeah, so you're playing golf indoors. You're hitting into a screen. Uh, the technology is called TrackMan, which is these launch monitors. All the tour players are using them. So if you want to like get better at golf, sing, see your swing path, your club face, your angle of attack, your spin, all this stuff, you can geek out and go crazy like that. Or... You can play Pebble Beach, have some drinks with friends, and just slap it into the screen and have a good time. No pressure. Nobody's watching you. You don't have to keep up your pace of play. Six big screen TVs, a bar, full bar. There's a little putting course. There's a deck outside, all kinds of good stuff. So nobody has to yell four because nobody no. has to worry about getting smacked in the head with a ball. No, we did have one bounce this. I'm not going to say any names, but she shanked it. And it hit right under the TV by the bar, which was pretty <laughs> impressive. I don't know how she did it. It went like 90 degrees to the right. That's impressive. something I would do. This is why I stay off courses and things like that, just for the safety of others. <laughs> so this is really exciting. So I didn't realize you mentioned people who already golf can perfect their game while doing the virtual experience. How does that even work? You said something about golf face. Is that like your game face? Yeah, so it, it, the, the, these simulators are like anywhere from, mine were $48,000 each. They're they're pretty cool to where it tracks like how the club comes into the ball, how the club hits the ball, the face angle at impact, and truly more information than you'd ever need. Um, so, you know, for your golf geeks that are out there hitting balls on the driving range, and like the ball kind of lies, like your club path can be going 15 degrees to the left, your club face can be open 10 degrees and you hit it dead straight, but it doesn't go anywhere. So this, this, this will basically, you can hit balls and see like, okay, I'm swinging 10 degrees to the left. Let's try to make that two degrees to the left. So you make a little swing change and then it'll instantly tell you what's going on. You see the ball flight so you can improve. Again, like if you go to a PGA tournament, these track men just lie in the driving range. All the best players in the world are using them. So that means us high handicappers and your hackers all the way up to your good players like can benefit from it. And if you don't want to geek out on that stuff and kind of look at your golf swing, you can just bring friends in and there's 140 different golf courses you can play. There's like skyscrapers and dinosaurs and different types of games and monsters and closest to the pins and long drives and stuff like that. That sounds exciting. It sounds like a virtual reality, almost just like a game. It is like a game. And so you have sure. all the different backdrops so you can be in a whole different place than where we are, which is already beautiful here, but you can picture yourself in Switzerland golfing yeah. if you wanted to. Yeah, Switzerland, Japan. Pebble, wow. it's $500 to play Pebble Beach. You can come for $65 an hour at my place and play Pebble Beach. That's amazing. <laughs> so you can really just have a fantasy experience while you're either perfecting your golf game or can you learn how to golf this way? To me, 100%, and that's it. A lot of people go on the range, they're new golfers, they feel intimidated. We're here, you can come in sores. Sim 2 isn't right by the bar, so some people are like, want to be in front of the bar and <laughs> central. Other people want to be hidden in the back, and then you can work on your golf swing. You know, we get a lot of like bachelor parties, birthday parties, date night, um, you know, a lot of different stuff going on in there. But you can definitely like, you know, in the winter time, I had a lot of guys that wanted to work on their golf swing, change their golf swing. It's tough to change your golf swing in the summer because you have to go play. So you're a little bit worried that you're going to play poorly or you can work on that in the winter time and then take it to the golf course in the summertime. That's pretty incredible. This is a whole new enlightenment for me, to be honest with you. I know that there's virtual things out there and I know that there's virtual golf, but I didn't know the extent of it all. This is pretty amazing. If you want to get your golf game on or if you want to perfect it or maybe even learn, I might go over there and learn a couple of things. I like to putt. I do yeah. like to play in putting greens and stuff like that because there's no danger in You can putt, you can putt as well. <laughs> this is amazing. Now, where can people get online information to find out about what going on with all of this amazing activity. So I love this, this is great. Uh, you just go to www.veilcountryclub.com. All the bookings are done online. You can pick your time, book your bay, one hour, two hours, three hours, whatever it is. It truly, if you're playing golf, it takes about the same time as playing a round of golf. So I'd give yourself some time. A lot of people book an hour and the hour goes by pretty quick. Right, because it's four hours normally for a basic 
For a round time, of golf, yeah. For a round of golf. Yeah, and it takes about the same. We had a league over the winter time. We're going to do it again this year. And we just played nine holes, and it generally took about two hours to play nine holes. That's amazing. And you're inside the whole time. You don't have to worry about any of the elements or pollen so Maddie could not sneeze while she plays golf <laughs> if she wanted to as well. This is really fun. What's the max capacity that you can have for one room? Eight people. So you can have eight people in one, what do you call it, Plane. a pod? Uh, simulator, like a bay. A yeah. bay, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. And you can get eight people in eight there. People. And you can actually fit more if people are just drinking and hanging out and heckling. <laughs> But eight, pl eight players at a time, yeah. That's a lot of fun. So when the drinking takes place, does it get a little bit more chaotic or just more fun and people relax a little bit easier? Yeah, some people actually play better when they start drinking. It's kind of funny. Um, I'm like that with pool. Yeah. Yeah. And then we do golf lessons in there as well. I teach golf lessons. I'm a PGA member. And then I also do tailor-made club fitting, so we'll fit people for golf clubs. We have all the new stealth tailor-made stuff. Nice. So there's a little bit of everything going on in there. That's really cool. Do you have a shop as well? Can uh -huh. people go and get cute little golf outfits? Yeah, I've got That's... some swag and a bunch of hats and shirts and, um, yeah, there's golf bags. There's so much and... going on there. Yeah. Yeah. This is great. It's tailor-made club fitting for you guys. And you can always get your fitting worked on right now at VCC and so much more. So for... A one-hour wood fitting, it's $100. It's $100. And then okay. if you buy a set of clubs off me, it's 50 You get half off. Yeah. Well, that's really yeah. a great deal. Yeah. So you sell clubs there as well? I do. So you're pretty much the one-stop shop for all things golf. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people that aren't members. That, you know, Even if you're at a private club, they might have a club fitting on August 6th. So you have to be there on August 6th. We're basically every single day. So you can come anytime. Check out the new stuff. A lot of times you'll get your driver hypothetically, your driver, compare it to our driver, and we want to beat your driver, we want to hit it further, we want to hit it straighter, and if it makes sense and you can hit it better than the clubs you have, why not buy some new ones? Why not? Yeah. Let me tell you something. If you want to have a great time, a little competition doesn't hurt, but a really good party is happening at the Vail Country Club. Kenny, thank you so much for being here and bringing to light this amazing, virtual, exciting <laughs> time. Thanks for having me. Kenny from the Vail Country Club, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Liz on TV 8 Vale. That's all the time we have for today's episode of The Scoreboard. Remember, if you have a story idea, email it to us at scoreboard at tv 8 We can't wait to hear from you. As always, visit our website, thescoreboardnation.com, to see content you may have missed. For Maddie Evans and Liz Farron, I am Blake O'Rulian, and we will see you all next time right here on The Scoreboard.